So our daughter's been going to Wilberforce for a couple of years now um, and she's had an absolutely fantastic time. What we've been really pleased with is just how warm and positive um, the environment is there, how um, welcoming everybody's been and as I say she's just really enjoyed it since the start. Her independence and confidence has really come on leaps and bounds since she started and I think part of that is due to the relationships that the kids develop with the teachers. They really support and challenge them positively and just care about them on a personal level. Which is fantastic. I think on top of that, um, the the fact that the school places such an emphasis on the Wilberforce way, um, on how they treat others um, is excellent and certainly for our daughter now what's really clear is that a priority for her um, is treating others kindly, working hard, being polite um, and just really being um, an excellent member of the community which is great. We're also really pleased with the school's facilities for school dinners and she really enjoys the school dinners, that's the highlight of her day sometimes. Yeah and uh, I think really one of the things that we've been so pleased with is obviously she's made such progress um, with her learning already but also um, she's really improved her social skills and um, just her confidence, her independence, everything. Um, we've just seen such an improvement and really uh, we couldn't recommend the school highly enough as a result of that. Both of our children have thoroughly enjoyed their time at Wilfoss School. We have a confident 14 year old that loved every single day, especially the opportunity to take part in sports days, school trips, productions, out of school competitions, responsible jobs as she got higher up in the school and helping the younger children in her lunch hour. Our youngest, a completely different kettle of fish, painfully shy, now in year five, and we love how her teachers have all worked out what makes her tick. She loves art and craft and gets many opportunities to access this every single week. Every school year she becomes more outgoing as her teachers and teachers assistants bring out the best in her. They've worked her out and realised that there is a real good sense of humour to her as well. The things we especially love about Wilberforce School is the community feel. We absolutely love attending as a family. Many social events, playground dances, fairs and school dinners. A firm favour of mine. The open door policy is there for everyone. I have a seven-year-old daughter, Phoebe, who's in year two at Wilberforce, and she um, she absolutely loves the school. She's quite an, uh, an anxious child, um, which doesn't really show at school. She's um, incredibly confident and incredibly happy there, really enjoys it. She's um, come on leaps and bounds with her confidence, and um, I do put that down entirely to the the teachers um, at the school and the the ethos of the school, which is that children should always um, persevere and they should always treat others as they would like to be treated themselves. I think Wilberforce Primary School is really special and I'm so glad this is where we chose to send our son. Um, he's only three and a half and has been there for eight weeks now and he attends the F1 class of Miss Petty for three full days a week. Um, he's been out of any formal nursery setting since March, so it was a really big step to suddenly send him for three days a week to a new school. Um, we got the opportunity at the end of summer to um, have a settling in period where I could stay, and um, it was just amazing. The two foundation stage classes were just so well equipped and neither of us wanted to leave. We already knew that there was a mud kitchen as we had received a video um, message from his teacher, Miss Petty, at the end of summer telling us what we could expect and our first visit exceeded all expectations. The first impression vibes I get from the school are that it's really kind and caring, which is really important to me. The first couple of weeks for us was quite difficult as our son used to get quite upset when we dropped him off and I would have to leave him crying. A nightmare for any parent. There was not once that another parent who just so happened to be there at the time didn't give me some kind words like, oh, I'll give him a week, they'll be skipping in. And, and he was. Within a couple of weeks, he, he wakes up now every morning and asks, is it a school morning? And has a smile on his face and he, he just runs in. Um, there wasn't one day that Miss Petty didn't ring me within 10 minutes or email me when I did leave him upset um, to say that, you know, by the time he'd got his coat on the peg, he was happy as anything and joining in with the activities for the day. And that was a really nice touch um, 
just to let me know that he was okay and I appreciate that. I feel like I know exactly what he achieves during his time at school through his tapestry account and who his teachers and his TAs are. It's updated weekly and not only do the teachers make comments and observations, it's somewhere I can add things um, for, the, for some of the activities that we get up to on a weekend away from school. Um, we've already had a school clouds parents meeting with his teacher and um, she updated us on how he's doing and it gave us the opportunity to ask some questions as well. Um, even though I know that we've joined the school during a pandemic, which is just really bizarre, I feel like I know everything I need to know. The communication through the My School app is exceptional. Um, it really is. And we get newsletters um, when they come out as well. So Wilberforce Primary School for us was definitely the right choice. And I'm really excited for my son's future there. When your child's starting a new school, it's perfectly normal to have um, worries, anxieties and a few nerves. But that can be increased when you've got a child that's got additional needs or indeed suffers from a health condition. Our eldest child suffers from epilepsy. So when it was his time to start at um, Wilberforce Primary School, it was natural for us to have some worries, concerns about how he'd cope in a large school environment and also how the staff would be able to deal with any seizures that he may have and any other health concerns or anxieties that he may suffer from. We needn't have worried. Um, we worked together before his transition to make sure that all the staff were fully aware of his condition, um, all the details of it, the plans that we needed to put in place should he have a seizure, what the emergency procedures should be. And we talked at great length around how he felt and the reassurance and guidance that he may need in his time at Wilberforce. Throughout the years um, he's been in attendance at Wilberforce, his um, health condition has varied um, and indeed he had a serious operation just over a year ago relating to his epilepsy condition. The staff were amazing, um, fully supportive, um, came to visit him in his recovery and made him feel really reassured about um, returning back to school. So what I would say is talk to the staff, um, they're so friendly, really helpful, very knowledgeable. There's a member of staff that indeed has personal experience of epilepsy which has helped us tremendously. But all the plans were put in place, reassurance given to our child but also to us as parents um, which we're eternally grateful for. So thank you. Uh, Wilberforce School is an amazing school that as a family, my children and as parents we're really proud to be part of. Um, their children love coming to school um, every single day, always excited and raring um, to get to school for what the day brings. And that's because of the the staff, the teachers, the TAs and how brilliant they are at really giving a really positive and welcoming and warm approach to the parents and to the children. I have two children that attend Wilberforce School, Year 4 and Year 1, both in Year 4 and Year 1. Um, they love the school, um, can't wait to get there in the morning, think it's fabulous, love the teachers. Communication between myself and the school have always been fantastic. The events they organise throughout the year, sports day, street dances, nativity, all other bits and bobs are fabulous. Uh, as I say communication is fab, we get emails sent out all the time um, via school apps, things like that. Uh, can't fault that at all. Uh, during lockdown in summer it was fabulous because the effort the teachers and the head put in to get them all back before summer was outstanding. Uh, it made such a difference to my children that they could just go for those last few sessions. Uh, so if you're thinking about a school for um, your child next September, I would definitely pick Wilberforce. Choosing a primary school when you've got more than one option is a really difficult decision. You can get a really good idea of a school by reading um, the Ofsted reports um, just to see how the school's performed over the years. But there's nothing quite like getting into it and getting a feel for the place and seeing um, the, the pupils mixing with the staff in their own school environment. And sadly, in these times, that may not be possible. Things are a little different. So I can only go off my um, personal experience um, and say genuinely sending my kids to Wilberforce um, was the best decision that we made. I've got a son in year four and my daughter I've watched flourish from 
preschool all the way through to year six when she completed her Wilberforce journey this summer, which was really emotional. Um, so I have got a really good picture of the school um, and I've seen how it's developed and evolved over these last years and it really has just gone from strength to strength and you just won't find a more dedicated team of people who will really champion your children um, and to get them to meet their, their full potential and it's just in all aspects. The past pastoral care is really second to none. Um, my daughter was a bright spark when she came to Wilberforce um, already reading and um, her teachers put her on um, a gifted and talented program as it was known back then quite early on um, but really supported her and given her extension activities but it was always done really sensitively and there was no pressure um, for her and she was really unaware of it at the time um, and it was all done at her pace um, and so they just really really were trying to bring her on which was brilliant my son um, was diagnosed with ADHD, um, Asperger's, um, has several allergies and the school have just been fantastic and have catered for all of this. Um, Miss Pemberton, the SEMCO, has worked with me and his teachers over the years with um, the educational psychologist, behaviour support, put loads of strategies in place to make sure, because he's such a bright boy, but he always um, struggled to focus in class. So they've, they've really come up with lovely ways of, of getting him um, involved and just watching him now come into his own in year four is a relief and just so lovely to see. And that just would not be the case had he not had all of these people behind him just championing him the whole way. Um, for a parent, that's all you can ask for. And I know other friends um, in other schools who've just not had that. Um, and it is it is a worry and it's, um, it's a stressful time. But going off to work, knowing that your kids are, are being nurtured, they're safe, um, they're just enjoying school life, it's just fantastic. Um, you know, over the, the years, um, I think obviously with new leadership as well, the communication between the school now is so much better. Um, you've got a school app for reminders for all those important days that um, us parents tend to forget if we're not prompted. Um, you know, you're invited into school to give you feedback, to see the children learning. Um, they really are welcoming um, that communication between parents, which hasn't always been the case, even though it was always a good school. Um, that's just got better and better. Um, it's just sad that at the moment, you know, we can't um, go in as, as, as we'd like to, to see the kids learning. Um, but you know hopefully that will change and all i can say is that if you did um send your children to wilberforce you know they will be looked after they will feel safe my children go into school have always gone to school happy uh ready to learn um you know demonstrating the wilberforce way all those values um you know you're really just trying to get them to be a decent human being and so to have them coming home and saying well that's not the wilberforce way is um it's it's music to my ears it's it's fantastic um, you know, it's it's giving them the skills um, that they need in, in life, um, you know, not just um, to be good at maths, but Wilberforce really champions all the extracurricular activities and, and pre-lockdown, you know, the clubs were phenomenal and hopefully that'll all get back on track. Um, you know, you've got something for everyone. You've got Lego Club, Warhammer Club, um, Swapsy Club, you've got football, piano, um, taekwondo, you know, both taught by teachers within the school or, or external um, people coming in. Um, you know, it's it's championing that child, not just for the academic, but for being a good person, being a good friend, um, you know, um, all those things, being polite. Um, one of the first things that struck me walking around Wilberforce School um, for that first time was the the kids opening the door for us um, and saying good morning and um, just being really happy and it was an impromptu visit so it didn't seem staged um, and that's that's great and and really has just done wonders for both my children and finally I think uh, the measure of a good school um, is how it deals um, in a crisis um, 2020 has thrown up some huge challenges um, and you know I can only praise the leadership and the team of staff um, who have really gone that extra mile um, over those lockdown months um, to make sure that um, the interaction between teachers and kids was, was kept going and their learning um, was supported. Uh, we even had a call from 
teachers just to check how they were getting on emotionally not not just with their work but you know just how are you doing um you know if they were having a little wobble you know they were just well email us let us know um it doesn't always have to be about schoolwork. um we even had um miss pemberton drop off some books for my son um when she found some in the library that she just thought would be just his thing um so really um again dealt very well in that situation and um, managing to get all of the kids back into school even if it was for two days at the um at the end as lockdown eased oh, such a relief for us parents first of all but for the kids they just skipped into school they were just so happy to be back um you know they they never want to miss a day of school they they are sad if they are ill because um they love school so much um you know that speaks volumes so thank you Wilberfoss for everything that you have done for my children and for the support you've given us parents too. Hi, I moved to the village with my family about five years ago and one of the main reasons we chose the village was because of Wilberfoss Primary School. Uh, the wraparound care was brilliant and the school worked together with Kids Club and the nursery which was great for us because we were both full-time working parents. Um, the school itself is fantastic. The headmaster puts his heart and soul into it and the teaching is brilliant. Uh, both the boys have adored every teacher that they've had. The classes after school as well are really varied. So they have sports, French clubs and crafts as well. So there's definitely something for everyone. But I think my favourite thing about the school is the values that the children are taught, particularly around respect for each other and around kindness for each other. And certainly in our house, they're repeated quite often. I'll hear my youngest say, mummy, you need to be heart smart. And my oldest say, daddy, that's not the Wilberfoss way. So they are certainly learning a lot there, but I can't recommend the school highly enough. Hi, my name's Vanessa Mills and I have two kids at Wilberforce School. I've got Sam who's in year five and Kit who's in year one. And I've been a parent at the school since January 2014 when Sam started in F1. Um, I'd say that Wilberforce is a really nurturing school um, while also encouraging the kids to, to really try and try and be the best that they possibly can be. Um, I think the staff are all really approachable for parents and the children as well. Um, I certainly know that my two feel that they can chat quite openly with both of their teachers, which is nice. And you can also have a bit of a laugh with them as well, which is good. Um, you know, there's not sort of that stuffy parent-teacher <laughs> relationship. Um, I've been on the FAUS committee for a few years. So we raise money for things that the school will need. We have discos and film nights, um, cake sales. In the summer, we did like a Friday ice lolly sale after school, which was always really popular. Um, and this year we also did a Mother's Day sale just before lockdown happened. That was really nice. Um, it was really lovely to get little gifts that we knew that the kids had gone and chosen themselves. Um, yeah, it was just, it was cute. It was nice. And we know that we're, we're buying things that are essential for the school in times when there isn't a lot of money to go around. Um, the school has lots and lots of clubs available to the children depending on what they like to do. So there's there's sports clubs, there's arts and crafts, there's this Wopsy Club which I know is quite popular for football cards and Lego cards and um, they can also do musical lessons. So I, my eldest plays the piano, which is really nice. Um, I always wanted to learn the piano, never got round to it. So I'm sort of, you know, <laughs> forcing my kids to do things that um, I didn't, but Sam really loves it. Um, and it's really nice to listen to him playing as well. So it's a nice little added bonus. Um, for us, it's just been a really good experience. Um, we've definitely made some lifelong friends, uh, whether the kids have or not we definitely have we've got um some really good people who we hang around with and we get to use kind of the local pub and go and have meetups uh that's also been another added benefit of FAUS uh we've been able to make friends with well I have friends with parents from different age groups that you might not normally see or talk to uh so it's it's been nice to make those connections um basically I think it says a lot that at the end of the first lockdown when when kids were able to go back to school that Wilberforce 
managed to get every single year group back and the kids wanted to be there. They wanted to go and feel safe and secure um, in an environment that, that they know. And um, for me, that's that's all we can really ask for. Um, <laughs> hello, <laughs> tiny helper. But um, what do you think of school, kitten? Excellent. <laughs> there you go. 